So we start every shoot at Dream Reach Media and at Jeffrey Dunn Photography with a casting and branding consultation because unless we know what we're going for, it becomes generic general headshots, which is what everybody else in town has that we want to avoid. Part of the reason that I paired up with, with Daniel Brea and with Dream Reach Media is that the philosophy is the same. Whether you're taking a still or you're making a scene for an actor, you're focusing on casting and brand first. So when you're creating a script or a scene, just like when you're creating a headshot, there is no cookie cutter template. It's tailored to the actor. So that when casting sees it, there's the feel of their brand and what makes them special in the headshot, in the scene. Whole face, mm -hmm. forward Oh side. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and be careful of forehead yeah. or chin on it, but yeah. if we just do this, it's just pants, yeah. and this, and you're the focus, and this becomes a nice support for that. Let's throw these on, and we'll take some test shots. But the deal is, boom. But if you look at stars, or working actors, right, that are on regularly on shows, you see the same face pop up, you know, you see the same guy or the same girl, they know their brand. And if you look at how they're cast, you go, it's on brand. Clint Eastwood, Tom Cruise, giant movie stars found their brand. That's the mission and it's really exciting today to see it happening in front of my face with Jeff, where you go, he's got it. And we started with a list of like 20 castings. Worked with his agent, worked with his manager, got it down to the top five, and then we go, okay, how do we show that? Wardrobe, background, intention, how do we capture that? Hopefully, when the pictures pop up, we go, okay, there it is. There's the all-American kid. There's the bad boy. There's the corporate guy with the bad attitude. There's the, you know, they're all there. And when we go to pick those pictures, or just like when you go to pick takes in one of the scenes from Dream Rage, you can see the scenes that are where they're in, because they pop. Headshot has five seconds to capture somebody's attention. A reel is about the same. Maybe 10 seconds, because they're waiting to see how you respond to the other actor. 10 seconds, man, you better be good.